We are the Sooner River team. We are a team of over 30 engineers and scientists who are committed to designing, building, and testing a rover of the highest caliber. As the University of Oklahoma Showcase team, we share our work and our mission with hundreds of prospective engineers each year as we push them to pursue STEM. The mirrored arm system lets the user easily make complex motions with high precision. It was designed to make fine manipulation faster and more responsive in real time. Optical rotary encoders have extremely high resolution, meaning the rover arm has very accurate tracking. The arm is an independent module from the rest of the rover, which makes it very easy to swap out for the science package or autonomous sensors. Using conductive slip rings, the claw can rotate continuously around its axle, which is great for turning knobs and screws. Position sensors on each joint give the arm's positioning high repeatability. An algorithm monitors the speed and position each joint is moving at to move consistently and not overshoot its target. Here, we are able to type SORO. The end effector is able to tightly grip tools and the system is precise enough to pinpoint small targets. We are effectively able to switch between hex keys, screwdrivers, and other kinds of tools quickly. The bell-driven joints of the arm make it more powerful and allow for fine manipulation, creating an ideal balance of strength and accuracy. The arm is very durable thanks to the CNC aluminum construction and belt drive. Under a lot of force, the belt will slip before the gears in the motor break. The large motors make our arm capable of lifting over 5 kilograms with its rear hooks. The science package consists of a drill, vacuum, and carousel used to collect regolith samples. The drill agitates the regolith so it can be vacuumed up by the cyclonic separator. The regolith is deposited in one of four preloaded test tubes containing hydrogen peroxide and tested for organics by monitoring the reaction. No reaction between the sample and peroxide indicates no organics, while organics are indicated by an effervescent reaction. Between each sample site, the vacuum system is purged and the carousel rotates to the next tube. Here the rover is driving to a set of GPS coordinates that we gave it fully autonomously. The rover is driving using a PID algorithm to steer using the desired heading as a set point and the current heading from the onboard GPS as the process variable in this algorithm. As the rover is driving towards the GPS coordinates, it is looking for the error tag that is at the end of the leg using a variety of different filters so it can see the error tag in any lighting without calibration. Once it sees the error tag, the rover switches from driving to the GPS coordinates to track the error tag and using the same PID algorithm but using the AR tag's heading as a new set point. Once it is driven within three meters of the AR tag, the rover stops and the LEDs turn green. While the rover is stopped, Mission Controls enters a new list of GPS coordinates for the rover to drive to, and once it is given the signal, the rover turns the LEDs red and continues on its way. The Marzakod design allows our rover to maintain balance and control throughout the extreme traversal task. The 12-inch diameter wheels provide a low center of gravity with a chassis that prevents high centering of the rover while rubber grousers give the necessary traction for the rover to drive over steep inclines of both rock and soft dirt. As you can see here, the rover can drive over a field of concrete and rebar without failure. In other testing scenarios, the rover is able to traverse inclines of up to 45 degrees. Here at the Suna Rover Team, we've put in a lot of hard work and made a lot of great improvements to our design. Thank you for viewing our submission to the University Rover Challenge.